Daniel Medvedev versus Yannick Hampman, the third quarter final for the Men's Rome Open 2023. And both guys weren't expected to make it this far. Hampman started the tournament off as a qualifier and will take on Jarry in the first round. There's no problem for Hampman, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. In the second round, he take on the number nine seed, Fritz, who had been pretty good on the clay. But this was the biggest win for Hampton so far, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-1. In the third round, he take on fellow unseeded player, Cecchinato. And after dropping the second set, fight back to win, 6-4, 4-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number six, Rublev, who had won Monte Carlo a couple of months ago. And after a close first set, Hanfman would have to fight to win in three, seven, six, four, six, six, three, to make it to the quarterfinal. Medvedev started the tournament off as the number three seed. We get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori. There's no problem for Medi, getting through in straight, six, four, six, two. In the third round, he'd take on the 31 seed, Morales, who'd actually been pretty good on the clay this season. The drop in the first set, Medvedev would fight back to win, three, six, six, one, six, three. In the fourth round, he'd take on 19th seed Alexander Zverev, who we'd had some very big battles with this year. This was very impressive for Medvedev, getting through in straight sets, 6-2-7-6, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two guys have actually never faced off before, so it's going to be interesting to see, especially on the clay courts for Medvedev, and how Hampman can deal with this new and improved clay court version of Medi. Hampman's going to win this one. He needs to get Medvedev frustrated. We all know that Medvedev doesn't love playing on clay. It seems like this year he does, but he does get frustrated sometimes on this surface. He's also going to get the crowd on his side. He's the underdog and he's the qualifier. Try and get the crowd on his side and maybe that could frustrate Medi into some errors. If Medvedev's going to win this one, he needs to just keep doing what he's doing. The drop shot against Zverev was such a good shot that he's been using very, very smartly this year, which is kind of crazy because, you know, he didn't really use the drop shot that much in the previous season. So definitely got to use that. And with his experience at this level in these sort of matches, maybe use that to his advantage and maybe bully Hampton a little bit who might be a little nervous in this situation. This is such a random match. Didn't think this was going to be the final that we're going to see or the quarterfinal that we're going to see. But I'm going to go with Medvedev in this one just based on experience. I think Hampman has had a great run, but I think the match against Rublev kind of showed that he maybe might be at the end of his fairy tale. And I feel like Medvedev just getting started in this tournament, showing us all that he's a clay quarter these days, which is kind of weird, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one.